So if you're considering buying Cartier, and specifically I'm talking uh, Justin Clue and Love Bracelet, most likely this video for you, so please don't go anywhere. Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Oksana. Thank you very much for clicking on this video. I truly, truly appreciate it. And today I want to talk about Cartier. I'm lucky enough to have uh, several pieces in my collection from Cartier. I wouldn't say that I have the biggest or the most beautiful collection from Cartier. Obviously Cartier is the most expensive, the most luxurious uh, brand in jewelry and they have exquisite, exquisite pieces when being worn by, I don't know, duchess <laughs> and queens. So, um, but I have something to say, especially if you're considering buying Justin Clue or a love bracelet small size, one of the newest version of the Cartier. So let me actually open the, uh, so this is the Cartier love bracelet and small gold with no diamonds, nothing. And obviously I have on my, um, arm on my wrist just in clue once again this is full size not the small one full size yellow gold and I have my just in clue for about a year and a half and I have my small love for about a year and today I want to talk about in general about wear and tear reasoning why I purchased these two specific pieces and uh, do I still love it Am I regretting something? So it's all coming. Uh, so let me actually remove this from the, the box. So first and most, if you never purchase anything from Cartier, that's how it comes. It comes in this beautiful box. If it just include, obviously you don't have a screwdriver, but if it's love bracelet, it's coming with a screwdriver. Then it comes with um, another box just kind of looking like that and the front flap is kind of opening like that and then you can close it so normally once again it comes with the receipt uh, Cartier uh, receipt and it comes also with Cartier certificate that's how you usually receive everything from the boutique also they can include like cleaning kit uh, travel pouch etc so and this is the Cartier um, uh, authenticity certificate so they call it uh, yeah they just call it certificate so um, let me put this uh, bracelet on. So the difference between a uh, classic love bracelet and the small version of the bracelet is that the small version, you can pretty much put it by yourself. So you can pretty much put it by yourself. It just has a hinge pretty much like a Justin Clue. And then there is a, and then there is just this kind of click and then you can turn uh, this um, just one nail uh, with the screwdriver and then it's completely locked. So the reason that I uh, went for the smaller version because I thought it's going to be much easier for me to just put it myself. So, and I normally like to remove my jewelry at night because I'm not the type of the person who I uh, like to have jewelry, you know, 24-7 and that's why I was struggling to get a full-size love bracelet because I knew that I have to wear it pretty much 24-7. Uh, so that was my reasoning why I decided to go with the uh, small version. When it comes to sizes, and I'm going to most likely include a picture of me uh, doing the measurement of my wrist, and I did it actually on the widest part over here. I did it over the bone, you know, when, like high point over here, and kind of even a little bit loose. Uh, so if I'm going to put like really tight, tight, it was 15.5 or 15.7 um, centimeters. 
so normally i should have gone with the size 17 i would say but i purchased size 18 and the reason for that because once again i purchased this bracelet uh, during the lockdown and the reason why i purchased this bracelet because i was thinking of getting love bracelet but you know i was kind of postponing 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 and then I heard of the price increase, you know, from my essay. And it's kind of uh, FOMO, you know, fear of missing out. By the way, I just recently did video, fear of missing out. And uh, I'm going to link it somewhere over there. So I talked about this bracelet and some other handbags that I purchased because of the fear of missing out. So anyway, I purchased this bracelet just before the price increase. And there was a rumors like the price will be increased by 5% and it's like in Cartier if it's a, you know, we are talking about thousands of dollar pieces. So it's major, major price increase. So I decided, oh my gosh, I better buy it. But because boutiques were completely closed, so I didn't have a chance to try it on. And when I was buying my uh, Cartier ring, I tried just in clue and i tried just include size 16 and the 16 were kind of sitting like perfectly on me and um but i kind of find out that 16 doesn't have really much movement on me and this uh, head of nail almost because it's kind of fairly heavy bracelet almost kind of not digging inside my um skin but just kind of more noticeable i would say so when I tried size 17, my essay almost said the 17 is too big for you. You know, it's kind of moving a lot. But then he did the test if I can uh, turn around easily. And I mean, I can turn around just in clue, but not as easily per se. When it comes to the lock bracelet, I can easily, easily, you know, turn around. And that's not how it's supposed to be. So anyway, I'm kind of getting off <laughs> of this whole story. I'm kind of all over the place. So because I didn't try the love bracelet at the boutique, so what's happening, because my Justin Clue is size 17, my essay suggested that I should go with the love bracelet um, 18 because they said then it's going to be a perfect stack and they're not going to go over each other. By the way, even my uh, love bracelet is 18 and my Cartier is 17, when I'm wearing it for a very, very long time and even like, see, I'm doing this intentionally right now, it still can go over when they say that you know it's you stacking in this way that the bracelet cannot go over i don't know maybe with the full size it won't be possible but with the smaller size it's possible the justin clue still can overlap um, a small bracelet even if the justin clue one size smaller so my justin clue is 17 my love bracelet is 18 and it's still overlapping so what i noticed but even like let me just make sure that it's in focus i will show it to you what i noticed that somehow love bracelet still hanging way lower than the justin clue you know what i mean and i'm thinking that this bracelet is the wrong size for me because as i said my wrist is 15.7 not even 16 centimeters and this is definitely wrong for me the justin clue obviously i can go one size smaller like size 16 but i'm thinking if eventually i'm going to be stuck in more bracelet i don't mind if the justin clue will sit a little bit higher so that's what i am thinking that i did really wrong wrong uh, size choosing so i truly believe if you want to go size uh, up in just include it's still okay but love bracelet has to be a perfect size uh, for your wrist so i'm thinking because i'm 15.7 under the 16 centimeters my love bracelet should be 17 the biggest size it shouldn't be 18 like you can see that it's hanging a little bit lower comparing to the uh, just in clue 
so since I have it close up you can see uh, the the scratches it definitely has uh, scratches and plenty of it when it comes to Justin Clue it doesn't really have much scratches it almost doesn't scratch at all maybe on the head when it's just a flat uh, that's about it. I really love Justin Clue because it doesn't show any scratches and it's so easy to take it off and on. So that's the Justin Clue and this is my Justin Clue uh, ring. So that's about it. Just, you know, close up. At the end, like you see what's happening right now, once again, the Justin Clue is overlapping the, the love bracelet. So when they say that just go one size bigger in love for the reasons that it's not going to overlap, it's not true. It's still overlapping, at least in small size. So at the end of the day, you know, when I'm talking about these two bracelets, uh, love and Justin Clue, I got love. For the reasons that you know fear of missing out without trying at the boutique and it was a mistake uh, plain and simple it was a mistake uh, i should have gone to boutique at the end of the day when the price increase actually happened it was just a 50 dollars canadian increased in price but i got a wrong size for myself so sometime fear of missing out could struck not the best of situation and we are making kind of spontaneous rush decision when it comes to these uh, pieces which is precious and supposed to be passed uh, through generation it shouldn't be like that you know it shouldn't be like that um if you worry about the scratches in a love bracelet and i think everybody is talking about this love bracelet scratches like a crazy when it comes to justin clue i don't know maybe it because it's kind of roundish shape it doesn't really show scratches much and it could be easily polished with the you know polishing clothes the only scratches i notice it shows it's on the head itself that's about it that's about it but love bracelet shows scratches so very very much um as i said i the reason that i got smaller version of love bracelet only for the ease of putting on and off uh, overall look I think if you were thinking between smaller and fuller version of love bracelet and you were going only because of the price uh, for the smaller one because in my case I went because of the ease of use it's a mistake in my humble opinion it's a mistake but obviously we are all different because when it comes to the smaller version these um, uh, screw details like you know almost invisible almost invisible you cannot really see it um, from the even the distance glance you have to really look carefully to see those nail uh, details the only version I think really worth buying in a small when it's full pave because when it's full pave those kind of like you know heads of the nails are showing of the screw showing like quite well I truly believe in smaller version only pave is worth uh, buying but then the pave is really extremely expensive as well so I mean it's okay I'm not saying that it's a bad piece of jewelry no it's it's okay but does it give that kind of 100% joy as I would say the full size would give you does it give that kind of woof you know that oh my gosh it's a Cartier piece of jewelry to me personally it doesn't it doesn't because even when I'm wearing just a nail by itself it somehow has that presence you know and it could be just worn by itself and it's still like you know looking very very nice I don't get this feeling with the love bracelet when it's just be worn by itself it doesn't give me that kind of like you know like you know the butterflies in my stomach and I personally think in my personal case it was a mistake 
it was a mistake of purchasing this small uh, bracelet sizing were wrong the look for me personally because once again i'm not the skinniest person i don't have the tiniest wrist my wrist is not 13 centimeters or under so um i mean it's not the biggest one obviously but i think for me personally full size will be a better uh better options for sure so that's about it so if you guys have questions please do not hesitate put your questions um, or comments because once again it's not that i'm trying to offend anybody if you already have a love bracelet god no because i definitely loved it uh, that's why i purchased it but after using this bracelet i realized for me personally it would be better to go full size and i'm actually considering uh, getting full size the only problem with the full size per se for me uh it's because i find it could be a little bit cumbersome but as, as i said because i never really wore jewelry 24 7 if it's going to be on my dominant hand what i was thinking if i'm gonna get a love bracelet uh full size i have to find my perfect size and i'm most likely gonna wear it on my non-dominant hand meaning on my left hand because even if i have to do some chores at home i wouldn't be worried that i'm gonna damage as much versus if i'm gonna wear it on my right hand which is my dominant hand I hope I'm making sense with today's video and I was obviously hoping that it might be useful for some of you who were considering um, these two pieces of jewelry. Just in clue, I still stand by 100% and if, like I would say, if I would have even choose size 16, I still think even size 16 is still good, but I still believe that size 17 is still good for me but when it comes to love bracelet it has to be a perfect size for you to be comfortable enough to be worn that's kind of my verdict at the end so that's about it for today i hope that you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me likes share subscribe comment and i will see you on my next one bye bye